you fought your way into the forest of Mirkwood to rescue the famous Bilbo Baggins. After fighting spiders and bears and meeting a strange creature by the name of Smeagol, you arrive at a ruined structure deep in the forest. The old ruin operates as a staging point for mysterious slave caravans managed by a host of orcs. You believe the old hobbit is imprisoned in the tower. You manage to sneak into the structure, but without warning you are betrayed by Smeagol. Triggering an ancient mechanical trap, the contemptible creature drops you into a rancid basement. Knocked unconscious by falling debris, you finally come to your senses. Ufek's room is as dark as his mood. He tears into the cold meat, juices gushing down his scarred jaw. Things are afoot the great orc cannot explain. Attacks in the forest, a ravaged patrol, the storage room mysteriously emptied. Ufek grunts and angrily throws his empty drinking horn against the wall, where it splinters to join a pile of dry bones and other detritus on the floor. Breathing heavily from climbing the stairs, Ufthak's mewling steward, Slagged, worms his thin frame into the room. Must the goblin always be clutching one of his parchments? What do you want, worm? Ufthak licks dry the bone, and it joins the drinking horn. A visitor has come, Ufthak! Slagged lisps, and adjusts his cloak nervously. From Dol Guldor. Fear is not a common emotion in orcs and Ufthag considers himself uncommonly brave. Even so, he cannot halt the tendrils of dread that shoots down his spine. The mouth of the cold ones has come. You force your bruised body to stand, head throbbing like a dwarven feast. Your garments are soaked and dripping from lying in stagnant water. Now where has that blighted Smeagol dumped you? The ceiling above must have retreated to its former position. Through a crack in the wall, moonlight paints the dank cellar in a bloom of grey light. Your feet splash as they move, for the nearby swamp has laced its way into the tower's foundations. Stale water and light-starved cattails fill most of the cellar. White tadpoles skitter about in the water, and thin lizards bob their heads on the slimy walls. The far end of the cellar is hidden in shadow. Did the shadow just move? It rolls and ripples before emerging into the moonlight. It's not a shadow at all, but some vast slug. It extends its beer moth head and eye tentacles towards you, snorts a drizzle of fetid saliva, and proceeds to tug its enormous body under itself. It seems to have made up its mind. You are food. Forgive. I will give you. Do what you will, but I will hinder it if I may. I am Idrain, defender of the north. Yield! 
You'll find no better in crashing Thank you. Those are the power of good. Tall figure awaits Ulfak in the tower's main hall. He wears cold hammered black armor, 
and a black cowl shadows his features except for the unnatural glint in his grey eyes. Orthag purposefully strides into the hall to stand before the imposing figure. Damned if he'll show the fear he feels. The mouth of Dol Galdor is not fooled, but smiles cruelly. Ah, oh, you have message from cold ones? Uthak snarls, discomforted by the unnatural chill emanating from Dol Galdor's favored messenger. I've ridden without hope, so I shall be precise. The voice is like frozen stone. I'm to inform you that the masters need the promised slaves with haste. The last batch expired faster than anticipated. New prisoners, all here, mouth! Oof, that grunts. My warriors, provision first. Leave for Black Hill next dark. At that moment, the tower rumbles and jokes, as if a great fist had struck its foundations. The enormous slug falls and the walls tremble, sousing the air with an avalanche of grime. Behind a patch of bogland ivy, you discover a narrow staircase and commence to climb the moldy steps at once. While ascending, a clamor can be heard in the tower above, harsh yells, clanging of doors, and the bellows of a great orc. How will you ever get out? The stairs emerge into a derelict alcove, overgrown with cobwebs and moss. It faces a great room, finely decorated of old, but now ruined and forgotten. As the racket of the enemy grows closer, you've no doubt that he'll soon be upon you. Speed may be your only hope. You rush towards a set of oaken doors on the far wall when disaster strikes. As you emerge from the alcove, a troop of orcs slog into the room. They roar in excitement and draw their weapons as more enemies arrive. You are surrounded. I'm gonna this way. Way. Do what you will, but I will hinder it if I may. I am Idrain, defender of the north. Oh, 
You've broken through the enemy ranks and reached the heavy oaken door. Rushing into the room beyond, you hastily barricade the door behind you. Hinges rattle and splinters fly as the orcs administer powerful blows, urged on by a deep, booming voice. The door won't hold long. A hiss causes you to turn as you realize that you've stumbled into the tower's jail. Smeagol is crouching before one of the cells, glaring at you with undisguised loathing. You don't have to guess whose cell this is. Smeagol hisses again, rising protectively before the cell door. Oh, stop them, we must! Oh, nasty masters cannot have precious! The door booms again and several planks fly across the room. Smeagol shrieks as he charges you, face twisted with deranged fury. Those with the power for you. I will smite you if you touch him! you if you touch him! to have found Bilbo, but the situation is grim. Just beyond the broken door, Uthak and his orc warriors are preparing a second attack. You cannot hold them off forever. Trapped and near despair, you prepare for a last stand. But wait, a shaft of moonlight attracts your eye. Screams and pleas from the other cells tear at your conscience, but there's no time. As you swear one day to return for the poor souls, Uthak commences the second onslaught. Quickly, you lift a reluctant Bilbo out the high window, following headlong yourself. You crash onto a steep slope and tumble violently down through branches and brambles, until deposited with a splash into a cold stream. You see Bilbo a small distance ahead, treading water and sighing. Oh no, old boy! Not again! The current of the stream is strong, dragging you quickly downriver. In the distance, you hear the now familiar cries of an orc pursuit. You're not in the clear yet. <laughs> 